This is Marshall Jones at Winthrop University and we're talking about designing web pages for learning. You're going to be creating a web-based learning environment. So in this class we have spent some time talking about instruction uh, and learning and the differences between the two. What you're doing is, is you're choosing a content area and you are going to create a learning environment to support that. In, within this, this assignment you need uh, some sort of assignment for your learners to do. Uh, that could be to write a paper, to create some kind of project, to create a video. But what you're doing is, is that is you're, you're creating a collection of content that teaches somebody the content associated with their learning environment, but then allows them to create a project that's a unique manifestation of their learning. So you're going to build this collection of materials. Uh, that'll be a combination of content, things like web pages, text, uh, videos, uh, audio files, and then you're going to build interactions. So you're going to build ways for learners to interact with the content. That might be through built-in quizzes. That might be through the use of blogs or annotated videos that have quizzes built inside of them. We'll get to there, I promise. So, but you're going to build this as a website. As a part of that website, there's going to be some sort of assignment that the learners are going to do. So what might one of these things look like? Well, let's just take the content area uh, of the U.S. government. In a learning environment on the U.S. government, you would start with a home page or a launching page, and it, there's sort of a natural breakdown of how this content is going to be organized. Because in, in the United States government, we have three branches, the executive, the legislative, and judicial. Within this, you might then choose to have, uh, you, you would have content related to each. So you would decide what that content is. Um, here are some examples of some of the things that might be included in this. So if you think about this structurally for just a moment, this would be a web page. Um, we'll pretend that didn't just happen. Uh, this could be a web page. And then um, you might, uh, th there might be a page that is uh, dedicated to having a menu for the executive branch and then one for the legislative branch and the judicial branch. I think you're, I think you're getting the point here. The, uh, within each of those sections, you would then decide what kind of content goes into these. Each of these might be their own web page. Uh, there could be uh, multiple web pages associated with each of these pieces of content, or if not pieces of content, sections in your website. On the pages that you create, there's going to be information. There, uh, there will be links. Um, you know, perhaps there will be links to things like, uh, if you were doing the executive branch, links to the White House. Um, the, uh, uh, there could be video of speeches, uh, pundits talking about the executive branch, uh, people opining on politics. You may find that hard to believe, but people do opine on politics. So you might have things like uh, the old schoolhouse rock video, uh, I'm just a bill playing on the uh, uh, as, a, as a piece of information for your learners. The point is, is that for each of these sections of your, of your website, you're going to be creating content for each of those, uh, for, for each of those sections. And that content is going to be content that you have filtered for your learners. It is certainly possible that you could create, or, or that you could simply have your learners Google and find information. And there are advantages to that. But when you're building a learning environment, what you're doing is, is you're choosing the materials that you think are the most appropriate for the learners that you're going to be working with. So because you have done this careful analysis of who your learners are, you know uh, the age appropriateness and you know the reading level uh, and you're going to make sure that the information included here is information that is valid. 
reliable, and true. This has been Marshall Jones at Winthrop University talking about designing web pages for learning.